big in the team points for the beat beaters. Baptiste will be up on map five in about 45 seconds as he goes at 132 pounds. And a 126 pound capel from Lyman is just underway on map number two. No score in that match. One minute first period. They're still in the first period there. And Capel just got dumped down for the takedown. Trying to sprawl on that double leg by his opponent, Duran. Where is M-O-N-T? Monta Vista, I think. Okay, Duran from Monta Vista. For Mountain Vista, I don't know, there's... He's a 37 and 6 junior. He's got Capel on his back. As the first period winds down. I'm going to give up three near fall points, so Capel's down 5 to 0 in this match. Wrestling on match number 10. Wrestling on match number 6. Class 3 a They're going to go on their feet to start the second period. Jacob Bright back to Sterling. Capel has some ground to make up here as he's down five to zero. Still waiting for Baptista from Marino. The match ahead of him is tied 10 to 10 with five seconds in the third period. That is a Monta Vista wrestler. Also have Arnaldo Maltos Garcia on deck. He'll be wrestling Trujillo of Valley, so another Brush Valley matchup. They're one and two in the team race. Valley ahead by three points. Coming into this round, 99 and a half to 96 and a half. Maltos Garcia with a pin could uh, tie that up, and then with the uh, points for sixth place, that would put the beat diggers in the lead for a moment. Anyway. Capel gave up another takedown here in the second period. Now a little tilt by the Monta Vista wrestler Duran has Capel on his back, giving up more near fall points. Mat number six, we have Bryden back up from Sterling. Okay, and he's about to get underway. Actually, we will. Oh, that's the second see, period. Yeah, he's down two to nothing as they're on their feet in the second period. The winner of that will take on uh, one of the beat diggers. Let's see what Mackie Sandoval here at 120. 22 seconds left in the second period of Capel's match from Lyman. He's losing 10 to 0. Overtime on mat number five where Baptista will be wrestling. Breidenbach still on their feet here in the second period. Tries a shot, gets caught in the under position for a headlock. And coming out the back side, Breidenbach will get the uh, takedown. That'll tie it up 2-2. Breidenbach gets a great find in there against Francis from Classical Academy. Capel's on top here in the third period. Big scramble down there. Capel still comes up on top. Now he's out in front and he gets dumped down with another double leg by Durant from Monta Vista. He's down 12 to zero in his match. Minute 40 left in the third period. There's gonna be a re reversal ordered to the Classical Academy Wrestling. Braden Capel and his opponent went out of bounds. They'll set with a minute 32 left, down 12 to zero as Capel hits a switch on the whistle. And Duran grabbed that two on one, tried to tilt him again. He's got him twice with that. But Capel rolls through. Breidenbach gets an escape, pull it in one, four to three for Francis. And nice little fireman's, and oh, 
Breidenbach can't hold him there. Bridging out of it. Now Breidenbach trying to work at short fireman's again. And we run out of time in the period. It'll be four to three for Francis. And it'll be Francis's choice. And we're gonna get a stalling warning on Kappel. Still down 12 to zero. He's just bellied down. And he gets thrown in that tilt again. No back points given up yet. He's got his shoulders up a little bit. Oh, there's a one count. And Kappel's gonna roll through and bust the wrist. Gets his hands free again, trying to base back up. 26 seconds left in that match. Breidenbach working from the top with a great play. And Baptista from Marino's up on mat number five now, just getting underway. And Braden Kappel defeated Canfield from Marino last night to get to this point. In this round, you have to win in this round of consolations to medal. So if you win this first round, you'll wrestle three 